Professor Francesca Stavrakopoulou addresses a super chat question that is actually pertinent to the issue right now with Dr. David Falk, the Egyptologist, with his misogynistic rant. And this isn't the first time, and it won't be the last time, that someone is obviously envious of how far someone succeeds and can't stand their work. Why? Well, in this video, when she brings up the fact that she's a woman and she's an atheist, she's not a believer, you're going to realize that this is stuff we're going to get until people start to break away from this fundamentalist worldview. And now you know why Myth Vision's on a mission. Check out the video, get a copy of her book. This is how we show her that her work, her actual work, judging her on her work, is fantastic. ScholarVid, throughout your career, you have experienced significant pushback from the universities where you've taught against some of, or where you have taught against some of the hypotheses you've put forth. Is that true? And I'm mm. going to put your book up while you're doing stuff. So, um, I've not had pushback from the universities I've taught at. In the UK, it's very different from the US. In the US, there's a lot of places that teach, you know, that do biblical studies and stuff, which are very confessional. Um, and so you kind of have to sign some faith declaration before you can teach there. The UK is very different. It tends to be theoretically, at least, very secular. Um, I mean, obviously, a lot of my colleagues are, are Christian or Jewish or Muslim or whatever. Um, so I've not had pushback from the universities. I have had pushback from students. I have had pushback from individual staff and colleagues. Um, but yeah, nothing that I can't handle. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> well, can you give us one example? Just uh, what's one that you would say is a big one that always comes up? I think the one that, was, that always kind of um, has stayed with me is when I was very early in my... T Actually, when I was teaching at Oxford, um, I taught there for two or three years when I was doing my postdoctoral work. Um, and there was a theological training college that was kind of affiliated to the university. And I was giving the main university lectures on the Hebrew Bible and the history of Israel and that kind of thing. Um, and... I was told that I had been blacklisted by students at this particular theological college because they felt that, um, that A, I was an atheist, B, I was a heretic, C, you know, blah, 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 blasphemy, blah, 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 all the usual stuff. Um, but that stayed with me because that was the first, I was very early in my career. I'd only just finished my doctorate. And I, that was like, I was like, why would you not come to the Oxford University lectures just because you don't like the woman? Oh, woman <laughs> lecturing. <laughs> Yeah, that's something I bet we could have a our conversation about mm. your what your life in your career has been like as a woman. But uh, yeah, maybe we can cover that at some point. I'd love that. <laughs>